right, all right. Updates. This one's hopefully going to be short because not really a lot has gone on. Um, I am not losing weight as quickly as I had hoped, mostly because uh, it seems that my body has started doing the turning it more into muscle thing. And by that I mean I have swimsuits that didn't fit me last month that fit me this month. But the scale says that that's not the case. So I'm not fully certain what the hell is going on. I, I do know that it's obnoxious. Um, in terms of channel updates... Uh, the gaming channel is and has been in full force for a while now, so if you want to watch me and my boyfriend play video games, we're still trying to figure out exactly how we're going to do things. So some of them have face cam, some of them don't, some of them have, most of them have commentary. We haven't done any without any commentary yet, but... We're currently playing through Danganronpa, uh, Thousand Year Door, Pokemon Uranium, and a little bit of Boulder's Gate. So if you have anything that's happening over there that you want to see, any particular games that you want to see us play, uh, go for it. I'm also... I started a mobile game that I quite like called Monument Valley. Uh, there's going to be a couple other various, like, there's a couple one-off games. There's, we did technically finish uh, Infinite Fusion. Uh, if enough people go over and request it, we can start doing the Johto region for Infinite Fusion. Um... In terms of YouTube updates, we also have an extras channel for that, which is a lot of the vlogs that we make when we go to other places, so convention vlogs and such like that. Uh, the extras channel is really for uh, anything that we kind of feel like. That being the case, we are about to start a new series. I'm going to say it's in a similar vein to Pokemon Talk, except it is using the variety of the ridiculous amount of plushies that I own, as you can see behind me. So it is it, the characters that do exist in actual canon uh, places will we're going to vaguely attempt to keep their personalities. Obviously, some of them are going to have to be altered because I have a lot of horror character stuffies as well because I'm weird. Uh, the ones that do not have uh, established personalities, like the various webkins are the ones that are just kind of default characters will be given whatever personality we decide to give them. Um, and yeah, it's going to be just a fun thing all around. We actually, we're doing it as a kind of stop motion-y thing, and we actually have the, f um, first episode started. The first episode is going to be the shortest, because it's like a pilot introduction-y thing. We're debating on which channel we're going to release it on, so it'll probably either be released here or on the extras channel and then based upon how it does it may or may not just become a it will either become a different channel or we will rebrand the gaming channel to just entertainment in general it'll end up being one of the two so that's a thing uh i have been trying to learn animation it has been going quite slowly on account of having to do other things and also on account of it having been ridiculously hot up here and thus 
And the annoying thing is, is our air conditioning will only cool down the apartment like 20 degrees from what it is outside. And since it's been 100 outside, <laughs> the coolest that we're getting down to is 80. Which means I've still been spending a ridiculously large amount of time in the pool trying to escape the heat. Yeah. So that, that's mostly uh, my own fault for not getting the animation thing figured out because it's just been way too hot to be spending time inside of an also ridiculously hot house. Uh, there will be a office tour soon. Uh, well, not soon. I think I have it scheduled for like the end of July-ish. Um, in terms of the Let's Reads, because I've not really been getting uh, any feedback on them, I've kind of, uh, so technically I have one video scheduled out a week until the end of July. The thing with that, though, is... Uh, the Let's Read ones take a lot more work because the problem with them is that I read the books or the chapters ages ago before I moved so that I would have them already read, uh, which means that now I need to go back and essentially re-listen to them in order to make the artwork because I have all the base artwork done for them. I just need to actually re-go through it to re-catch up on the details, I guess, essentially. I mean, or I could just make up the artwork and have it only vaguely relate to the thing. I I haven't figured that out yet. I'm, I'll probably end up re-listening to the thing. That way I can just cut out any extra little bits that need to be cut. But I don't know. Um... I could go ahead and do some of the Homestuck, do Homestuck again, and just read some more of that. Uh, that one is the easiest one to do since it's a comic, which means that I don't have to do art for it. The main problem with that is, again, nobody was really giving... My main problem is that because nobody is giving me any feedback, nobody is leaving any comments, I don't know what things people want to watch and what things don't want to watch. Ow. Oh, that was, that felt weird. Uh, other than that people like watching the shorts. And the problem is that the shorts are almost impossible to monetize uh, in order to start making any money off of things. And while I am not doing this strictly for that I would still like to be able to start considering being able to do that. Obviously, the content that I make isn't going to change once I, monet once I monetize, but the amount and the quality might be able to if I'm able to monetize because then I'll be able to focus more on it because I'll actually have an excuse to focus more on it. If that makes any sense? Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that, uh, you guys will like the little stop motion-y thing that we're going to be doing. Um, I will obviously, if it doesn't get posted here, I will make an announcement either as a short or as a, probably as a short. Uh, saying, hey, this thing is happening, go check it out when we're actually finished with it. Um, the characters, like I said, that do exist in some form of canon, because I do have a lot of, uh, characters, I do have a lot of character plushies. The ones that do exist, we are going to at least attempt to vaguely capture their personality in some semblance, and possibly their voices, because I do do voices-ish. Uh, the problem is that I am not great at voices. I am 
thoroughly average at voices. <laughs> so, uh, this will hopefully make me, force me to get better. That would be kind of neat. Just the voices get better the longer I have to do them. That, that would make sense, actually. But anywho. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot to go over in terms of updates. Um... The office is in a nearly finished state. That's why we got to do the do the do the vloggy thing. Do the tour thingy. Yeah. That's all. Short video. Nothing nothing really needed, really. Um also uh the main thing that I've been doing and the reason why I haven't had as much time to focus on this, I guess, is because I am now uh, editing for a podcast called GFAP. Um, so, if you're wondering where, more, where a lot of my time is going, you can uh, check that out. Uh, I can put the YouTube link down in the description. And you can, because a lot of my, there's obviously my art is appearing in there too, because I'm also doing the art for it. That's why it takes a little bit longer to get stuff done. Um, so if you want to see, if you want to see where a lot of my time has been going, you can check out uh, GFAP, Ginger Force Apocalypse, the podcast. Um, mm, excuse me. If you want to follow more of my like life and stuff, I am on every social media known to man, and several known only to dogs. So I can put those links in the description as well. And yeah, toodaloo.